All right, next up. Number four. Shh. Construct regular octagon stop zine with side length x. So let's copy side length x to start with. Making stop zine. Yeah. All right, I've got one side done. There's X. So let's take a Y. Will this be on my Quizzer test? Are you kidding? <laughs> Kevin. You know, you're on the right track, Kevin. I could construct a circle. The only problem is I have no idea where the center of it is. But we're going to try to figure that out. Would the next step be to, like, to take... One end of X and do an arc. End of X and do an arc. Or would you? Would all the X's make up like a bunch of tangents around the circle? They they could, but again, we'd have to figure out what the radius of that circle is. So that's a neat idea. <laughs> Are you taking the passive approach? Just watch. Um, what do we know about, say, the exterior angles on an octagon? They add up to 360. They add up to 360. Yeah. So one of them should be what? 360 Oh, that's 360 divided by 8. 8. Well, it goes into 24. All right, you think about... All right, folks. It's 8 times... Wait, Oh, we'll get the calculator out. Oh, for Pete's sake. Is it 90? No. If you have a circle. And you divide it into four. Divide it into fourths. What are those angles? Uh, 90. Then I can divide each of yeah, these in half. Yeah, it's a 45 degree. Yeah, no, that's probably the most beautiful circle I've ever seen in my life. Look where yours is. So an eighth of 360 Wait, is 45 degrees. Mesa. And not a lot of heavy math needs to go into that. So my exterior angle needs to be here, 45 degrees. So if I could construct a 45 degree angle, I'd be in good shape. Which you can. Which I can. But I need to take, say, bisect a 90 degree angle. So I need a 90 degree angle first, which is a perpendicular. So if I could construct a perpendicular through this point, which I can do. I'll just use a graph paper for that. So an answer to my question is no. Do you want to No, nothing. Okay. We will have a question of this type, but, but not an octagon. Not an octagon. Okay. No. Damn it. Damn it all. Thank you, Julia, for that observation. You know, you could keep that to yourself. Yes, I, I could do it over and over and over again. But you just have to do two. Or well, you could do something else and do it faster, but I don't know what that is. Well, all right. So here is, now I'm going to ask you to think back a little bit. These two sides together with a third define a triangle, right? Yeah. Now, we figured out a construction that chapter or so ago where we could find a center point of a circle that would pass through the three vertices of a triangle. You remember that? Oh, yeah. oh, circumcenter? Yeah. And to find the circumcenter, we looked at where the perpendicular bisectors of the sides met. Yeah. Wait, so, Mr. Dennison, is that the altitude of the triangle? I, I did it completely 
This line? Yeah. No. Mm, it's just a line. So I'm going to find a perpendicular bisector of each side. Now you're thinking this is going to get this is this is terrible, but I'm trying to find the center of the circle. And once I find the center of the circle, everything's going to get really really easy. Yay! Well, how would you make that triangle? So here is one perpendicular bisector, and I'm going to figure out where that goes to. And here is another one. So this is the center of the circle. Now I just put my compass point at the center of the circle, move out to one of these vertices, Now watch this. I know oh the length. <laughs> How'd you do that? Magic, Rupert. I love magic. Except for except for when it's scary magic, because then the magician is not gonna clown. Yeah. So this is the length of a side. Now I'm just gonna go and mark off yep. sides. I'm so glad you're taking this. It's like you're smirking. Yeah, you have to smirk. Now, if I had done this really well, this last one would be the same size. And so it all stems from how well I do this construction here. If I botch that a little bit, the effect of it gets amplified, and it doesn't work out at the end, which is why I'm saying it's really hard to do this perfectly. But this is the idea. Once you have all those marks, you hook them all together. I lost you at the perpendicular. Didn't we do this with a and then you put a red marker and right the word stop came in white. Oh, the 9.7. Oh, yeah. 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 Kind of a, yeah, nine point circle. That's a good one. This is the I remember constructing these lines. Can't be this one should be unique. Um, if it's a regular regular octagon and you you're given the side length, all the angles should be the same as anybody else's angles. All the sides should be the same as anybody else's sides. So anybody else's octagon should be exactly the same as yours. Yeah. No, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Um, let's say we took this on a test. Yeah. And um, we we do it like that, and then we just come up with like have one error, which is that one side or just. Yeah, and I don't take off. For example, if, if if this if I was crazy enough to ask this question on a test, and somebody did this and they ended up with this side being a little bit too long, just like I did, no, I wouldn't subtract anything because the method is correct and and construction. We're all using yeah. How do you make the triangle? We're all using cheap compasses on, you know, we're doing things on the small with cheap compasses, and so it's really hard to do things exactly perfectly. My compass is broken. I have a 